still one of my best friends. She's like, oh, God, there was this girl, Jenny, that I really didn't like in high school. You're Jen. And I was like, oh. And so everywhere we went, she was so social. She's like, this is Jen. So I said, like, I had a you name reinvented. change. Yeah. I was totally kind of reinvented. And um, I don't know. I, I think some of the characters that I played on stage mm-hmm. started to really change me as well you know you start exploring things that are really outside of the wheelhouse you should be playing in because you're in a college theater setting where you're playing a 50 year old woman right. when you're 18 right. and you know just think things where they're great growing experiences but would make no sense in the real world right. but force you to consider the world in different ways and force you to consume different kinds of material in order to do a good job sure. so a lot of the ways I started to find those touch tones in pop culture and literature was by studying to play a character and then trying to consume what would make sense for them and then going oh well but then I also I like like that and then kind yeah. of branching out from there <laughs> I mean, you've had the uh, rare opportunity to be a part of some really you know frankly recent in recent times iconic tv shows that yeah. have really resonated with fans in a profound way i mean house we know was like the most successful show like in it's some in the guinness book of world records right yes something crazy like that it, it's true. david shore is living on an <laughs> island with seven <laughs> islands around him <laughs> he probably could be but instead he's like show running four other shows if he didn't, if he wasn't doing that um but it's interesting because and then i uh, see how i met your mother and of course once and but the fandom i'm curious like your perspective on the fandom of once for instance mm-hmm. versus house which house as we said like most successful show at the time in that run yeah but there's something different about a show like once where mm. there is shipping <laughs> <laughs> there is fanfic, and there yes. is... Well, all... I mean, we House was pre-Twitter, right. so that immediately changes things. Who knows what would have happened if it was during social True. media, yeah. the way social media exists today. Um, I'm sure there would have been all sorts of ships. <laughs> it took me the longest time to figure out. I was like, what is a ship? <laughs> like, in the first season on runs, I was like, what? what are people? A bunch of people have boats? <laughs> It took now me a while. Well I'm so, I was slow. I'm sure. I was slow to the ship, but now, now you I'm know on all the it. Vernacular, yeah. um, but uh, it is a weird thing because you know you want to be true to your character, and you also want to serve the vision that the showrunners have, and yeah. you want the showrunners to be true to their vision. You know, Eddie and Adam have worked so long at the highest levels in order to be in a position where they can create a show like this and right. and put it into the world and they deserve to put their vision in the world they they've more than earned that and what they write is beautiful and and creative and surprising and innovative you know so they have all these great things going on and 10 years ago if they were doing that they would have no idea if anyone cared who was with who right. or you know, where people wanted the storyline to go, but now people have this medium where they can have a very loud voice. Yeah. And, um, and you know, the artists are sensitive. <laughs> That's our job is to be sensitive. So it's this weird situation where you've got all these highly sensitive, highly creative people trying so hard to ignore the fact that a lot of people are saying terrible 